Hi, my name is Sam. Today I'm going to show you how to play a Cantonese style mahjong. It has been created, this game created since 1880s. It was long, long times ago. It's just like a poker card, but it's in the tile form. It's in a tile form, all right? It's, but it's not in the card form. All right, the gameplay is like three in sequence, three in a kind, 14 tiles will make a winning combination. All right, all you gotta do is you get a square table like this, square table for four people, and normally Mahjong star, they play four persons. But what today we're gonna focus is gonna play the latest style or the new generation, the Hong Kong three player Mahjong. The three player Mahjong is something very fast, very easy to learn, and very exciting if you know how to play. Right, come, we're gonna start with getting to know the game, the tiles. What is all these tiles all about? I'm gonna show you every one of the every things in tiles in the hand. Okay, I'm gonna show you the first one. Uh, this is called darts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There you go. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they have four set of this. Four set of this. All right. And what else besides this? We have the honor. We have, this is called honor. The honor is where we call east, south, west, and north. Assuming we are sitting in a square table, I'm, I'm the player, I'm sitting here. I'm the banker. I will be at the east. Beside me is south. In front of me is west. On my left hand side, that is where is north. All right. So this will give us the scoring point. All right. Scoring point. I will explain to you on the scoring point on the lesson two. No worry. Beside of this, what do we have? We have this called dragon. We call it dragon. Dragon is red, white and green okay uh, each one have four each one have four and this also have four all right then what else do we have we have this flower we have two set of flower two set of flower there's one two three four one two three four why we have the number flower flower is for scoring point scoring point okay assuming i'm sitting here just now when i say i'm at the east east i'm number one okay south will be number two okay west number three and north will be number four so assuming if i'm sitting here and i have two is actually i don't have value on this flower but if i have one yes i have value and if i have four yes i have value you know why because this is only a three player. It's only one, two, three. There's no number four player. So this four is meant for anyone, everyone. We have value, whoever will hold this. Exactly the same on this honor on the wing. Okay, if I'm actually on the east, so I have south and I have west, but we don't have the fourth player. So whoever who gained this, that is value. Okay, and anyone who gain this, 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 that is value. Okay, let's go to understand more. Beside of this, what do we have? We have extra, extra bonus. We call it extra bonus point. Okay, extra bonus point. We have a set of another flower. We call it animals. This is why you make it very exciting because when you have more scoring, more point, more winning, you will get. And you also have another set of four combination of four okay it depends this sometimes you have a different kind of design it depends what kind of mahjong set do you buy so actually if we look at the flower flower we have one set two set three set and four set we have four set of flower give you a maximum uh, point scoring where you want to reach from a zero to limit hand limit that means 10 10 point when 10 point you have Big win, big win. This is what I mean. All right. So you're gonna make the game more exciting. That 
on the original uh, uh, mahjong Cantonese mahjong all over the world, some of them they don't use joker. We have something called joker. This is how it look like. This is joker. One, two, three, four. We also have four. This is called uh, fei. In, in in Chinese we call it fei. I like to call it Hello Kitty because you can you can be replacement. You can replace anything. You can replace anything. All right. You can take it very versatile okay and if you happen to play the game with your 13 tiles okay what you do is picking up and discarding the tiles until you get a four set and a pair is called winning game okay i'm going to show you a little bit on how is the game is going to look like okay lesson one we're going to go something very slow something very easy once again let's repeat okay this is called that's all right. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's actually you have four set of it. Okay, you can do it in sequent, sequent, sequent way. Okay, all right, all right. Then then you have two honor this and this. The honor one is the win. The win is actually east, south, west, and north. And another one is the dragon. We call it a dragon. Is actually you have the red, white, and green. And for getting points, scoring point, we have two set of flower, we call it a season flower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Depending where are you sitting, we should give you the value of point. And we have extra bonus point to boost out of the game. We have another one set of animals. And another set of some that use plants and you use a different kind of design it depends on the kind of design that you buy and lastly the most important thing is we have four joker this four joker is a very important part because this four joker it can do a lot of changing it can become a lot of combination all right but if you have 14 cut on the winning game you have four joker in hand you are big win big big win <laughs> okay all right so i'm going to show you a little bit on uh, the game how how the differences uh, between one to nine to create the set of the winning game set okay so i'm going to leave all these things aside i'm going to give you a simple way of doing it to make you understand okay first let's understand first what is called charm Chow means it's three in a sequence. For example, it can be one to three, it could be four, five, six, it could be seven, eight, nine. This is called chow. Okay? Chow. It can be five, six, seven. Okay? It could be three, two, three, four. You see? This is called sequence. Okay? It's called chow. Alright? This is called chow. Yeah? So understand? It's called child, right? Because sequin. That's how it works. And then I'm gonna show you something called three of a kind. Three of a kind is called pom. Assuming I'm gonna use the dots to, to show you how does it work. For example, this tree, it can become a pom. This is called pom. Okay? This is Pom. All right. It can be any type. It could be this. As long as three of three in a kind, it's called pom. Okay. It can be uh, under this. It become pom. You see, this can become pom. So you know this is called chow. Do this in the side. Chow. This is chow. This is pom. This is pom. This is pom. Right. But in the whole winning combination game is what you need is so-called uh, three set. This is called one set. It could be a pong, child, child. You could be another child, and then you have uh, a pen, a pen. Take a look. Okay, this is how many cards? Three, six, nine. 12, 14, 14 cards, okay, 14 cards, a combination of 4 set, 
four set and one pair is called a winning card. It's called you can give, you are the winning card. Okay? But this is a winning card. But this is a winning card without value. Because why? Because you did not, uh, you're on the lesson one. On the lesson two, we will show you how does it call the point, the scoring point. Remember, I show you the so called uh, the flower, the season flower, one, two, three. And then I also have to show you just now on the uh, the honor on the wing and also the dragon this is all they got point and value all this point and value how to add into the point and value from 0 to 10 the limit hand where you have a big wing is called limit 10 all right that one will be in lesson 2 lesson 2 we'll show you how you can play the game and how you're going to set up the tiles and how do you going to calculate the value and win the game with money because this is of course a gambling game it was a fun very healthy uh, relationship uh, what I call is good for uh, passing time and you're gonna play it with very excitement if to understand the rule more of course, of course there's uh, a plain uh, reference there's a lot many many kinds of instruction they have all over the world which actually can just go to uh, any google google it up they will have it to you so on the second two on the second uh, lesson we will show you on uh, how to play a different kind of value on a different kind of combination of this game okay so i hope to see you in the next video on the lesson two and you have a great day wishing you blue sky and bye for now subscribe the button if you like the video